This is an unboxing of her first big girl harness. Now, Luna is 10 months old, so she's not doing any mobility yet, obviously. And um, I won't be doing it until she's cleared. She outgrew her wide front fleece harness, so I decided it was best to get her her gear that she will be wearing most frequently to desensitize her to desensitize her to it. This harness is from Bridgeport Canine Equipment, and so that's it. Came in a box. Um, this let me get my knife. Um, now. This harness is, this harness is leather, so, and so it should be, from what I've heard, it is very um, good quality and will last, some handlers have even lasted it through multiple dogs. Now, I don't know if I plan on getting another service dog, but if I do, um, it's something to look at. Um, A really dull knife apparently. <laughs> it's because I've been cutting it with sticky stuff all day. Um, now on top of the box, just what I ordered, and it, um, for it, it, it is average price. It's about a hundred dollars for everything I ordered, which is um, two leather tabs with three that are three inches long, a flexible add-on handle, and a counterbalance harness. Um, $100 is pretty much average for all service dog gear, but my god. Um, this came in a bag, all of it, all of it together. Now I got dark brown because Now, I got dark brown because I already had a leash that matched it, and it matches absolutely perfectly. Um, that's what I was nervous about, and it matches perfectly to the leash. Um, these are the three inch um, leather um, loops. Um, this is what the harness looks like. It is a medium. Um, Luna is at just starting to be 28 and a half inches, and this is a 29 inch girth, but Luna grows very quickly, and um, she is 10 months old, so I'm assuming she'll grow a little older, or I'm assuming she'll grow a little bigger. Um, this is what the harness looks like. It has a lot of D-rings. Um, It's very soft, and this is what the handle looks like. I got a 9-inch handle. Okay, let me get the harness and my actual leash in, so that way you can see how perfect it matches. This is the leash, my, like, 8-foot eight, eight um, leash, and this is the harness. It matches perfectly. Now the leash or the leash is completely broken in. I've had it for months, but the harness and everything will not be broken in when you get it, which is what I like because that way you can mold to not only your dog but also your body and the way you move. It it molds, and that's the best thing about um, leather. And it smells nice. It definitely does smell a little, but it's not like extremely potent, but it does have a smell. Mm. It's not as complicated, but my brain is not working. I'm going to put it on the closest setting. Well, this is what it looks like all together. I put it all on the lowest setting just so you can gauge how small it is 
and then I'll gape it to the largest setting so that way you can see how big it is. Now this is what it looks like on its largest setting. Um, I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna desensitize Luna to it and see how she likes it. It's not exactly, it doesn't fit exactly the way I want it yet because I can't figure out, but I will get it exactly where I want it eventually. Um, Double. Nope, that one. This one. There you go. Mm -hmm. I can't see you, weirdo. Back up. <laughs> Come here, Liz. Friends. There you go. Now, it's. This one probably has to be on the second or first one. But. What are you doing? Yeah, you like me on camera. Okay. Fit. The girl down. Good. Double. Just doing a little bit of body transitions. Fit. Good girl. Go slow. Double. Sit. Very nice. Nice work. Double. Good girl. Tug. We won't be doing counterbalance for a while, obviously, because she's still only 10 months, but I just decided to desensitize her to uh, not only the handle moving, which I'm not going to be even touching.